Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Big T Anderson and I do fan fiction readings. So this month we're doing People's Choice and this is one of them that I got from authors who I've read before. Uh, specifically this fan fiction. Now, uh, some people's like, oh well, you know, there may be some, there isn't a whole lot of even, hey, you know what, I ask people, they they gave me stuff to say, get this, and I'm like, okay, I got, I can do that. So, in this case, it's Meditation, it's Mass Effect, um, so, happy days are here again for me. Um, and it's done by Pinky1919, if you enjoy it, links will be down below to the author's page as well as the fanfiction page. If you like how I do it, you can always subscribe here, tell me how I'm doing with these fanfiction readings, that always lets me know that I'm getting better with these dramatic readings. Uh, honestly, if you, it's like, uh, I know some people are like, okay, I, I would rather do one or the other. Honestly, I, I'm enjoying these. I'm learning a new skill. Uh, I was a fan fiction writer. So if you actually go through the links and let the author know, hey, I enjoyed your work, that would actually be first. So that's first. If you want to come back and, and follow, sub, do all that jazz, that's great. Uh, that's extra credit. So that, that's up to you. But this is meditation. Let's begin. Let's check if I'm still recording. Okay, good. Let's begin. Erica. Her name fell from his astonished lips. As the light reflected from her scaled skin, it seemed to dance, flames of illumination licking her skin and swaying, flickering as if they couldn't stay away. She smiled gently. Thane. Her hand reached forward and he felt his eyes slide closed. As she trailed her fingers over the skin of his cheek, peace seemed to radiate warmth from his center, filling him with contentment. His body felt light and safe. As he felt her hand pull away, he opened his eyes to find a whimsical smile on her lips as she continued. I'm not your wife, Thane. His brow furrowed in confusion, lips parting the question, but she simply held up a finger as she dipped her chin to look at him. You know who I am. I have wished to speak with you for a long, long time, but I could not, not without changing the balance of things. But I have been with you. I would like to think you felt that. Thane's eyes widened and her smile turned, knowing as the recognition and surprise shone on his face. Arashu, indeed. You wonder why I took her shape. Reaching forward. She took his hand. You loved her very much. Her fingers drew a line across his knuckles as she looked down to their hands. She was one of my own, and you saw it in her. Your meaning was not chance, Thane. What do you mean? She looked up at him, but he kept his hand, her touch soft. Your Siha was sent to find you. Without her, you would have never left your battle sleep. You would never have no intimacy. Known love, you never would have known loss. I don't understand. Arashu released his hand and stood straight, her eyes soft and kind as she continued. Thane, for millennia I have watched as the reapers harvested my children, ushering them to the sea far before their time. I know that their time would come to an end eventually, and that my children would have a part in it. I saw to it the one you love, your Sia. She will stop it. From the moment you were born, your life has been preparing you for this moment. Preparing you so that you could love this woman and have her love you in return. But more importantly, your death will be what gives her the strength to do what needs to be done. I shall die soon, then. He already knew the answer. If not Kepler's, then surely the Reapers would soon come. He wanted to fight. He wanted to stand with Shepard and win the war. But in his heart, he knew his time was far too soon to be of use. She nodded, her features almost sad. Yes, and you will die protecting her. It will not be easy for her to let you go, but she will. The love you shared will be what gives her the strength to continue. But it will be your absence at the final moment that allows her no hesitation. So she can die to save them. 
The conclusion was obvious and his heart sank. He didn't want that for Shepard. He wanted her to live on, to find love again, to be free of all the war killing, just to start a family. Thane, I know what you wish for her, but this is her destiny. As it is yours, she will save them, and when she does, you will meet her to welcome her to the peace that she had so very much earned. She took his hand again and looked into his eyes. It was so hard not to see Erica in her face, but her eyes, no longer the color of the sunset, but blue as the daytime sky, stared at him with a love he didn't quite comprehend. You are her salvation, Thane. You have lived your life and suffered in ways no one could possibly understand, except your Siha. You're the only one that can understand her, the only one that can love her the way she deserves. You were always meant to be... Your path's leading you closer and closer until the day you must part. She knows her death is imminent, and losing you will only strengthen her resolve to do what is needed. She will do it for them, and she will be unafraid because she knows you will be there when the time comes. Thane couldn't bring himself to meet her eyes. Shepherd, his siha, his concerns were with her. He wondered how she would fare after he was gone, questioned if he truly would be more used to her dead. It seemed so cold, so calculated, but when she spoke of it, it almost seemed as if their deaths were their reward. And it sounded like a wonderful one. Eternal peace with the Siha that showed him what it was to truly feel again, and stood back to back with him in battle and marched him, marched with him and matched him step for step. It was as if his purpose in this life was to be the one that welcomed her at the shore, that he was not the one to question it, and he felt honored. Do you understand now, Thane, why I had to send you down this path? He lifted his head and nodded. I do, and I am honored, goddess. I wanted you to understand. I wanted you to have peace when your time comes. How soon? He asked, almost afraid to hear the news. She, her eyes dimmed slightly as she took in the stoic look on his face. Soon, Thane. He nodded curtly and swallowed. Will I remember this when I awake? She smiled widely and stepped forward to lightly kiss his cheek. Perhaps, she whispered, and his eyes slipped close again as she wrapped her arms around him. Her body was solid yet fleeting, and when he opened, she was gone. And he was back in the small hospital room on the Citadel, seated in the center of the room as he had been when he started his meditation. He could still feel her arms around him, her warmth cradling him. Even as his lungs began to ache, he stood to fetch some water, the events of his meditation still stirring in his mind, and that's when he heard the gunshots. His head snapped toward the glass windows. He saw the Cerberus shuttles landing throughout the Citadel levels. He had to call Shepard. Destiny, it seemed, was ready for him. And that was meditation. So, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hopefully you did. And uh, tell me what you think. Have a good one. Ta-ta for now.